Well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, no matter where you're from, tuning in in the world, we welcome you today. And we're back after one week, after, took a little rest after that intense 21 days. And uh, we went for it, so we're glad you're tuned in. Please share the broadcast for us, if you can help us get it out there. As you know, sharing is caring, so please get it out there and start sewing into this anointing today. This is going to be a powerful broadcast. Pastor Kevin Begley will be with us, and uh, I'm not sure if his wife's with him or not, but he's here, and we're going to have a powerful time, and this mighty man is uh, amazing, and you get ready. This is the Word on Wednesday, so you get ready, because you are going to get the Word with signs and wonders following in Jesus' mighty name. I'm, I'm really excited like, to come back and have this broadcast to launch things again. I'm excited. So glory be to God. So tell us where you're tuning in from and uh, put those comments out there. Uh, We're going off the Greg Gill, Bishop Greg Gill, Ever Increasing Ministry page. If you can comment on that, that would be great. And that's where we're taking the comments from. And it will be a great time. So please share, 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 share and get it out there. I'm sharing also. I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing right now and help us get that word out there in Jesus mighty name because the word a word is coming forth today you know we just did 21 days of prophecy and those are good to get those words but we need to get into the word so the word can get into us and so today we're going to have a word from the lord on how to <clears throat> move in the spiritual gifts how to activate in the gifts so i want you to share this it's going to help somebody It's going to help you, I know, and it's going to help me. And we are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. Shaka Bosan. I'm just going to give some shout shout outs. There's Miss Maria. Good to have you on from Sweden today. You're always faithful to be with us. We thank you so much. Brother Lance, Prophet Lance on from Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama. Go Roll Tide. There it is right there. And thank you, Maria, for sharing it. Thank you, Nicole, for sharing it. Natalie, Miss Natalie, Pastor Natalie and uh, Pastor... Uh, Shaka Basata, Pastor Dale uh, from UK. Good to have them on, tuned in. Good to have you on. Curtis, Ontario. Come on, Renee. There we go. My homeland before I moved to Cowtown. Hi, Miss Pam. Good to have you on today. Welcome. And so share it. Get it out there. We're coming on from Bishop Greg Gill, Ever Increasing Ministries. We're coming on my personal profile. We're coming on Ever Increasing, hashtag Ever Increasing Ministries on YouTube. If you want to go on that, there's Tommy coming on. Yes, good night. Hallelujah. Welcome from Finland, Brother Tom. Tom and I were on today, had a call together, had a great time. And uh, beautiful brother being used powerfully by God. And so we're so thankful that Tom's tuned in tonight. And so share it, share it, share it, and get it out there. And we are going to believe God for a great time tonight. I know God's going to move by the power of the Spirit. And so we want to get out there. I'm going to get our guest on right here. And I'm going to remind you, just just go to that website, myeim.org, get your seed in the ground. And this is going to be powerful because when you sow into a prophet, you get a prophet's reward. I know this man is an apostle, but, but but he's got a prophetic edge. Everything he does is prophetic. And uh, I'm going to talk about him. I'm going to pull him up here. Pastor Kevin Begley, good to have you on, my friend. There he good is. Good to see you, Bishop. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Welcome. Good hey. to see you. We're coming live from Brampton, Ontario, Canada, or Toronto, Ontario? Where Toronto. Are you? What office are you in? You're in the Toronto, the Toronto. office. Right? <laughs> yes, okay. I am. Downtown T-Dot, the six. Yep. And uh, we were together a couple of weeks ago, had a couple of meals together. It was great to be together, and we reunited, and it feels so good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> So I'm yeah. blessed to have you on today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. You pastor a great church in the uh, GTA. And so could you tell tell the people, first of all, just a little bit about your church, about your family, about your ministry, and uh, just so they can get to know you? Because once you start going, I know it's going to be hard to stop you because the anointing is <laughs> going to be flowing. So glory be to God. Go ahead. Man. Well, thank, thanks, Bishop. I'm so glad to be here tonight. You know, uh, especially as you began to introduce people from nations of the world. We have a multicultural church and we represent many nations of the world. You, yeah, we have yeah. people from, from Europe, from South America, from Africa, uh, 
over uh, 60 nations. And I'll tell you this, wow. yeah. it's a great privilege that we get to come together. And so, you know, when you started calling out the different countries, it just made me feel at home. I feel like, you know what, this is the kingdom because the kingdom isn't just one. Australia country. right here. Pastor Kevin. Sorry. Australia, two Australians just tuned in right there. They're just getting up. They're just getting up right now. The Aussies. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about God. I love it because the kingdom is is people from all nations. And, yes, it uh, is. That's always been my heart. My heart's always nice. been to reach all nations because that's God's heart. And so we've had the incredible privilege to uh, pastor people from all over the world, to preach in so many countries around the world, and it's been an incredible privilege. Yeah. Now, now you and you and your wife, you guys planted that church that you pastor right now. And uh, then you planted other ones in different countries, even not yeah. just in Canada, but you have other branches or campuses, whatever. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what exactly you have. So where where are you presently? Re- you just got back from Costa Rica, right? You're, I you're, just got uh, back from our campus. There. Yeah, working yeah. with our, our campus in Costa Rica and uh, it's doing great. It's just it, it started just before uh, COVID happened. But you know what? The government can try to lock us inside during COVID. On, you can't preach. lock in the Holy Ghost. And I, so come even on. in this time, <laughs> we saw that camp grow, people coming in and people accepting Jesus, people getting free and healed and delivered. And yeah. we're, we're really excited what God's done. I had an incredible privilege, just got back from being with them. And, yeah. um, and our campus pastors from Columbia are there right now. So I spent some time with them and they're, yeah. they're, they're, we have both uh, work in Bogota and then as well in the coast in Santa Marta, both in Colombia. And so uh, we're excited what God's doing. And now you and I were, you and I a few years ago were together in Bogota, Colombia, weren't we? Absolutely. I think that was your, I think, look at Hubert's on here saying Shama. There we go. Come on. Hubert. Hubert. Shout out, Hubert. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Pastor Kevin and I and his wife and we we went to Bogota together, and uh, it was on that trip that you learned of Chantel. Yeah, um, absolutely, my <laughs> youngest, youngest daughter, daughter, who just went to university this week. I, I can't even believe it. I mean, yes, that's such a an long elevator, and your wife was sick, and I looked at her and I said, "Pam, are you pregnant?" Like, are you feeling <laughs> okay? She's like, "No, no, no," because you guys had kind of moved forward, right? Your kids were older by that time. Yeah. But boy, oh boy, did surprise come on that one. I was there for that <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah. But just like God, some of those surprises are the best blessings, man. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I remember at the time, at the time, uh, my wife at the time was pregnant also, and she passed out up in the classroom. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Richard, Richard Santiago speaking, all of a sudden my wife got slain and it wasn't slain. She, it was the, it was the altitude. She right. was seven months pregnant at the time. So it was yeah. like, wow. Yeah, because the. So anyways, uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that Bogota al- altitude's crazy. I remember oh. uh, that that night. I my heart was fluttering a little bit, and I saw Richard the next yeah. morning. I said, Richard, man, my heart was like going yeah. crazy. I was just, but I saw. I said, I stay up extra and pray. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Richard goes, Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, it's the altitude here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I remember. I remember first time Huey when he called me. He said, Gilder, I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Huey, I can witness with you, man. I was, I was big that. guys. I was big guys in that altitude. That's just uh, yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> what what in the world's going on? Yeah. So, anyways, it's great to have you here. And uh, you have three. You have three young adults now. They're no longer children. So. Yeah. Your one son is living in Europe somewhere, right? Well, he uh, went to Oxford, uh, yep. got a PhD right. out of Oxford, uh, married a UK girl. And yep. right now he's teaching at the University of Munich. Yeah, so there you go. He's in Munich right now and uh, see where. That's where a beautiful at. city. I've been I've been there. I love Munich. It's beautiful. The, the buskers on the side of the street. Yeah. Great, great food, too. I mean, Germany has good food. So Absolutely. around here from Germany. Come on, Shaka, shout out to you. Right now. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk tonight, Pastor Kevin, about, about uh, operating or flowing in spiritual gifts. I know over ministry, over many years, uh, Pastor Kevin was one of the first guys that ever believed in me and brought me in to speak as an outside ministry. And I remember many great times going to London and... Uh, Oh, look at this right here. Got one of the ladies in, in Australia. She has a PhD and used to teach at Oxford, too. There you oh, go, right there. All right. Yes. And so, 
So uh, I remember going down to London. You let's start there before you even start about London. You had a powerful revival in London for many years that God poured out a spirit. Yeah, and you were you were very used of God in that revival. So maybe tell us about that outpouring that you had uh, right early in your ministry. You were the youth pastor then, and then we're associate and youth. Yeah, but, I mean God used you powerfully. So can you share a little bit about that revival? Yeah, Come on, it, share this broadcast, people. Come on. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you this, Greg. I, I've never desired to have be a part of a church where we just came Sunday morning, sang two songs, got up, somebody told a poem, gave him a little encouraging pat on the yeah. back and went home. Oh, I, I, I want yeah. revival. I Come want on. power of yeah. God. I want the presence Shack of God. God. So I want God to yeah. touch us. I want God to so yeah. rock us and to literally have it spread his revival fires around the world. And so what an incredible yeah. privilege I had in London. And we literally saw everything. We would go through seasons where we'd see seasons, literally waves of healing. And then we'd see waves of deliverance with people set free and devils cast out. And we would literally, we would go through waves and, you know, we were running um, our, our building at that time held just over 2000 yeah. and we were running five service on the Sunday, but our Sunday night was our revival service and it would start at six and it was often would go till close to midnight, sometimes later. And, and over half the auditorium wouldn't leave right through till the end. It was packed. You, you know, people say you can't get people to come to church on Sunday night. You couldn't get a seat on Sunday night. It's true. I remember that. That's where yeah. the Holy Ghost is. People want yeah. to be there. Where the real is, the genuine that. is, the power yeah. of God is. Come on. People come want on. to show up. People want to be yeah. there. People need yeah. that. And Greg, I'll tell you this. In this time right now, in our come world, on, tell us. people need yeah. the Holy Ghost more yes, than we have. Come you know on, what? I'll tell you this. I'm all for creativity. I'm yeah. all for sensitivity, but I'll tell you right. this, if our creativity and sensitivity trumps the Holy Spirit, then we've missed right. it somewhere. We're in trouble. And I'll tell you this, we've got oh, to yeah. make sure that the foundation of what we do is in the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, amen. So true. So good. So good. Yeah, See, so I, I called in Germany and we just had Germany come on right there, people. All right. right. I said we just call it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Well, I I remember because I was I was part of that uh, I was part of that revival. I went down. I saw it for myself, and I spoke in in your youth and young adult services. And it yeah. was the at that time it was the hottest thing going in in Canada. Yeah. I know that, and I I remember it was like wow, thousands of people would come even to your youth ministry over yeah. over a thousand people just on a Friday night. It was it was powerful, and and it was like being a young guy in ministry and getting thrown into this all of a sudden it's it's kind of everything i desired but i didn't know i didn't know maybe how it looked or or what it really the form it may take on absolutely i and remember so, john Bevere saying that that was one of the most powerful youth groups he'd ever been to yeah i'll tell yeah, you this, I, I remember it was john it was Bevere many the, times. the power of god yeah yeah and that's what you built it on you didn't build it on activities you didn't build it on ice cream Sundays. Come on, somebody, in Jesus' name. You built it on the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. And you built every every week. I remember we talked every week. I call him PK. Every week, PK, we'd talk. And you'd tell me about the revival report. We'd hear about the salvations every week. We'd hear about the deliverances when people didn't even know what deliverance was back then. Come on, yeah. somebody, in Jesus' yeah. name. And yeah. people getting set free and and it was messing people's theology up that movie. It was there. I, it I is, remember. It was messing with the <laughs> theology. It sure was. Because you know what? The problem is that sometimes when we study, oh, we have got it all figured out. But the Bible says we see dimly right now. And I'll tell you this. When you encounter the Holy Ghost, he mm -hmm. removes some of the dimness and you're going, uh, this doesn't yes. fit with how I thought it was supposed to be. This, wasn't, this doesn't totally fit with my theological degree. And right. how am I going to work it out? Because this is obviously God. Look at this one, PK, right here. Grab those hankies. I just Come on. I remember this. Listen, they, they were waving hankies in that youth ministry, yeah. and they had they had force or, or what was it called again? Vital force. force. Vital force. And they had it embroidered in the hankies, handing out hankies. People just, my God, what a move of God it was. <laughs> and and the thing is, though, is I think you tapped into something. You're not you're not only going for revival, but you taught people how to pray. Yeah, because I remember walking into the prayer room and I was like, wow, this is like a meeting like like some places don't even get this many people in their regular meeting. Yeah. And uh, and those those young adults and youth, they know how to 
they knew how to take hold of heaven. And so many of them today are in ministry because of yep. the fruit of yours and Pam's ministry together. Yeah, in just, Canada, in America, yeah. and in other yeah. countries of the world. Yeah. And uh, and so Hubert's tapping in here. He just, <laughs> he's just said you blazed a trail for, for all of us. And so we honor you today because it's so true. Uh, Pastor Kevin, he, he was one of the ones we looked up to when we were, we, if we got him into our youth ministry, we felt like we had arrived because we were like, wow, we can actually get him. I mean, this guy, this guy's on fire. So you get, you might get messed up today when he starts teaching. And uh, so I'm going to turn it over to you, PK, take about 20 minutes, if you would, or 25 yeah. minutes. And I want you to give people the word of God because you're full of the word. And uh, yeah. there's tuna. Tuna's on here, right there. There it is, right there. One of your boys, right there. Yeah. So much respect. Love right. Dave, Dave Tunakitis. Good to see you, Pastor Dave. Bless you and Charlie. Yeah. And yeah. so, uh, and then Renee left from Ajax. She said, "We need to bring this back. We need a dose of the Holy Ghost." See, yeah. <laughs> that's what you're known for, PK, and that's what we know you for. Uh, and so it was. It was funny because we didn't we didn't talk for a while, and you looked at me a couple of weeks ago, and you said you're still like Holy Ghost, right? <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> I, I said yes. I haven't left. I said, I, I know what you taught me and I know what God's put in my heart. And so I want you to talk to us so today many, about- So many have changed now, Greg. This is yeah, the thing that's, true. that's heartbreaking. People you yeah. knew who had a real passion for so God true. and for God to work in their lives and to experience oh his presence and his power, not yeah. just to do a service, but an encounter with a living God. And yeah. people have walked away from it. They've, they've changed the power of God for the program. And there's nothing right. wrong with programs. But I'll tell you this, it can't replace the power of God. Right, yeah. There's and I'll tell like you this, the Dave the power. Pastor Dave Tunicaitis on here, and I'll tell you this, he's, yeah. he's such an incredible uh, uh, man of God. And, and I had the incredible privilege to work alongside this guy for years yeah. and his humility right. and his passion. And, and literally the favor of God rested on him because of his humility uh, yeah. and his wholehearted commitment and dedication uh, for yeah. the Lord and uh, his inspiration. Yeah, well, that's good. Great. Before Pastor Kevin goes, I want you to sow into this anointing. Come on, get your seed in the ground. Go to myeim.org. Sow, 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 and share, share, share. Pastor Kevin's going to take it away. We are in for it. Buckle your seatbelts, people. Here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> well, Greg, tonight you asked about it taking a time in the spirit. And so, you know, what's really alive in my heart, this night is the night that we talked about, let's have a night on the gifts of the spirit, the power of God. But I'll, I say this, we don't just need head knowledge, but we need the Holy Spirit to work and to operate in, in our lives. And so my question for us tonight is, what do you need God to do for you? Yeah. What do you need God to do in your life tonight? Yeah. And so, you know, the problem is that sometimes even for us as leaders, we get to this place and, and we're so busy helping others and we're so busy encouraging others and trying to build others up, that sometimes, you know, nobody reaches out in faith to help us, to agree with us and to believe with us. And yeah. so my question is, what do you need God to do for you tonight? Wow. Wherever you are in the world, what do you need God to do? And I realize we might be separated by distance, but we're right. connected by the power of God tonight. And right. we're connected yeah. by the presence of God that is everywhere. And so what do you need God to do? Do you need healing in your body? Is there a physical problem? Well, guess what? God is able. And, and I wanna start tonight with a word of prayer. And I'm believing for, for people, maybe you need, need healing in your body. Maybe you need a miracle. You're, you're, you're facing an impossible situation right now and you don't know how it's gonna turn around. You're not okay. sure what to do. I believe in a God of miracles that can turn okay. around your situation. I Amen. believe that if two or three agree on anything in my name, yep. that Amen. God is able to do it. So what do you yeah. need? Do you need a miracle tonight? You're facing something. You go, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe you're yeah. in this place and you need supernatural provision or prosperity. Mm -hmm. And you're in this place and you say, you know, I, I need God's provision to live out his promises in my life. And, yeah. and, and you know what? I'm, I'm looking where I am right now. I'm, I'm looking at the resource in my hand. It's not enough to do what God has called me to do. Well, then guess what? Tonight, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for supernatural provision to be released. Maybe yeah, you're my, friend, my friend uh, from Finland, Tom, he's, he's believing for some miracles. We were praying today together. Hallelujah. So Get ready, we'll Tom. get you to pray for him later. Yeah. Get ready, Tom. Get ready. It's going to come. Listen, yeah. I, Greg, I don't even think we, 
we have to wait till later. I believe that that even as we'll reach Go out ahead right now, right lead now, us out. that God yep. will move and God will operate. Right. You know, maybe, maybe people that's are that's desperate that's right that. now. They need strength. Something's there's something they're going through or they need wisdom for a situation they're facing. I love it. Yeah. The word says that if we lack wisdom in anything, we can yeah, ask for God yeah, come on, and he'll do generously. God's not going to yes. just give you a little wisdom. He's going to give a generous amount of come wisdom on. that yep. you need to know to how do I do uh, yep. what I need to do right now and how do I operate it and how what are the steps I need to take? Yeah. And I'm glad we can call on God. And so, yeah. and, and I believe, Greg, there's somebody listening to you need direction right now. You're saying, right. God, I, don't know, I don't know what the next step is. Yeah. Where yeah. am I supposed to go? And I'm thankful that God so gives you direction. And so yeah. whatever it is you need from, from where, uh, whatever country you're listening to, whether it's in this nation or one of the nations around the world, right. right now, I just want you to think about what you need God to do, whether it's one thing or 10 things. Yeah. What do you need God to do for you? James 4, chapter 2, verse, uh, chapter 4, verse 2 says, you have not because you ask not. Come on. Yeah. And somebody might say, well, if God knows everything, then why do I need to ask? And right. it's not because God doesn't know or you need to tell God because he, he was in the dark about it. Right. But it's because God wants us to, to ask him to, to be a part of what we're going through. And yeah. so God's literally, he knows everything. But I'll tell you this, if you want to do it on your own, God will let you do it on your own. Right. If you want to battle right. on your own, he'll let you battle on your own. But if you'll say, God, I'm desperate. You have not because you're not. God, yeah, I need Please. you in this situation where I am so right good. now. And so guess good. what? When you ask God to be a part of the situation you're right now, I promise you this, God will show up. I Hallelujah. promise you that God will help you. I Come promise on. you that God won't abandon you. Shut that I promise up. you tonight that if you invite God into whatever you're going through right now, God will come and be a part of the very thing that you're going through right now. I'm so glad today that we serve the God of miracles. So, yes, you, know, he, you know what? I'll tell you this. It, you, God is just looking for us. He's looking for us to say, I need him. See, yes. I want to take a minute right now. Greg, I don't yes. even, I don't even want to. I, I know we, you said teaching the gifts. I'll, 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 no, that's fine. I'll, we'll just flow with whatever way you feel. Yeah, but I just feel like right out of the gates. Yeah, so come on. Coming and they're they're facing some things. And even as we're talking right now, and you're talking about where we came from, and you're talking about revival, something yeah. got stirred up in some people, and they're like, I Jesus, shut up, I want yeah. that. I'm desperate for that yeah. in my life. Right. And yeah. I, 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 Greg, I don't want to move on until we pray for yeah. people. Yeah, whatever let's do it, it is, whatever you're going through, I want to pray for the God let's of miracles it. to work in your life and work in your situation. I know that God is bigger. I want to take a minute, and you know what? If everyone who you know has a need, you know, what do you need? What do you need? Carolyn here. She's from California right now. What do you need? Carolyn's, right now. Right now. What do you need? Carolyn's from California and, and her husband has COVID and now her boys have woke up symptoms today. So they need, uh, they, they just dropped their son off in Texas at Todd White's Bible College there at a school. And so they just want to come against this COVID in Jesus' name. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead. Because your, your area was one of the hardest hit. Hit in Canada, yep. at one time, right? So, so I mean, you know this. Matter of fact, you it, know it, people. It was on the forefront of the hot zones, literally, yeah, yeah. right in the middle of where our main campus was. Is yeah. in the middle of the hot zone, and it stayed on there forever. And and I'll tell you this: do you know they were like, "Oh, if you come to church, I had nobody catch COVID at church, nobody." You know, and I'll tell you this: we just kept praying it, we kept declaring it. Yeah. You know, we followed the practices we were required yeah. to follow. But I'll tell you this. I, I was trusting in God. I was following. COVID free practice, zone. Come on. Trusting in God. Yeah, good. You know. Well, can you pray for Carolyn and her husband and her boys? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and not just Carolyn. I want to pray for Tom, too. Yeah, Lord, Tom, I pray for Carolyn yeah, right thank now. You, Lord. And, Lord, thank I thank you. you. You're the God of miracles. Shut, 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 and, Lord, I thank you that there's nothing too big and there's Hallelujah. nothing. We can't come, come to you on and ask yes. you for. And so, Lord, you, Lord, you see yes. Carolyn's heart. Lord, Today, right now, the, the, the heaviness, the weight. Yes. Lord, it's just like yep. the enemy is trying to infiltrate their mind. Come on. Yep. Just say, this is going to be disastrous. Go ahead. This is going to be terrible. Look out yep. for, you know, this, this, could, this could be really Jesus. bad. Haven't you heard the report? 
Haven't you heard what Satan said? And the enemy is literally trying to infiltrate their mind. But God, I pray a hedge of protection around Helen's mind, around her husband's mind, around her children's mind right now. I pray a hedge of protection. And I ask for God that the peace of God would descend upon them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Lord, we know that wherever Jesus Christ reigns, he is Mm -hmm. the prince of peace. So yes, whatever, amen. Reigns, whatever the situation is, whatever's going on, whatever the chaos is, that yes. he, the Prince of Peace, will reign. Yes. So we call for Jesus Christ, the thank Prince you, of Peace, to yes, reign Jesus. in this situation. Thank you, so Lord, Lord. I thank you. Lord. I thank you, thank you Lord. that this thank COVID you, will will not uh, in will not Jesus. produce a negative effect. I right. thank yep. you that people will stand back; they'll be amazed. Of how yes. quickly they've got through it. Hallelujah. Yep. Amazed how yep. mild the symptoms were. They're going to be amazed yep. at the power of God that's yep. working in, in Carolyn's yep. husband right now. That Hallelujah. Medical yep. professionals will stand back and say, Come on. Look yeah. at this. This is not how we thought it would go. This is not yes. how we thought Come it on. would go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you now, yep. God. For Hallelujah. Your yep. power in the shut shut up, shut shut up, up, right up, now. Up. Even as we agree. That's it. Thank Where we are in the world, let's agree right now. For thank supernatural you, healing into thank Carolyn's you, husband, yep. thank you, Jesus. right now thank you, Lord. we agree you, right now. Yes, we, we, we have no no limits and no thank boundaries you, yep. in the name break, of Jesus break, break, break. and in the authority of Jesus Christ. And so, God, Amen. I thank you now for your thank work you, in His life, yeah. Lord. I'll thank tell you, you this: yeah. that 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 the enemy has tried to rock us, and he's tried to yeah. get us in this place where. Yeah. Question is, try, even those who believe in healing, he's tried to say, yes, believe in healing, but not in COVID. And that yeah. somehow the practical problem of COVID is greater than the authority of our God. Wow, God, come on. We declare so today COVID is come not on. greater than Jesus. Jesus, we come on. Hallelujah. That yeah. COVID is Shut not up, the up, Lord up. over our life. We yeah, declare yeah, yeah. that Jesus wow. Christ is Lord over our life. And I yeah. thank you now for your healing power Lord. that's Hallelujah. flowing into his body. I thank you right, for on. Caroline's yeah. children. Yeah. I thank you, God. Yeah that they will not experience heavy yep, symptoms, okay. but that it will be just light. And I thank Hallelujah. you, God, yes. that your peace is going to descend on the family right now, yes, descend in their minds, descend you, in their hearts, and, Lord, that it will stay uh, to them yep. so strong right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Yep. And thank God, you, Jesus. I, 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 thank you, Lord. Yeah, Let's pray for Tom. Let's pray for yeah, Tom. Tom that, Finland, Lord, I Finland. thank you for Tom yep. right now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Lord, yeah, you're bigger. Your thank bigger you, than yes. financial yes, you problems, your bigger Hallelujah. Than Come relationship on. problems. Hallelujah. Come on. Greg, God's just put my heart for Tom right now that, yeah, that go the enemy's tried to come and discourage him. To yeah, literally say, you know what? You Prophesy. know, this relationship challenge is going to hinder you. Wow, wow, wow. You what a word. Come on, you're dead but on. You need to hear the word of the Lord tonight. God's Come got on. the best days ahead yeah, of you. And now, that now. relationship on, will not yeah. hinder you. Hey. It will not hold you back. Shut. It's not going to affect your call. It's not going to oh. affect Come you in your life. It's not going to affect your ministry. It's not going to affect what God's called you to. But we declare now in the name of Jesus right now. now. And Lord, I thank you right right now for for financial provision and prosperity to come. Tom, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the finances. Don't worry. God's got it. God's got it. And I thank you now that supernatural Mm. prosperity is going to be released. God, Hallelujah. more than enough, more than enough Hallelujah. to do Hallelujah. everything that you've called Tom to yeah. do. I thank, thank you Lord. right now. Lord, I can, Lord, I just see it right now. Mm. My God, Greg, what I, what I see right now yeah. is even as people are calling out to God right now over their Jesus. thing, that yeah. thing that's in their mind, I want, whatever it is, just before I yeah. say this, whatever that is that you need God to do right now, mm-hmm. I want somebody to declare tonight, tonight is my miracle night. Just Come on, now, Jesus. Tonight is my miracle Come night. on, I want you to put that in the comments right there. Amen. Tonight is my miracle night. Put that in the comments, people. Come tonight on. Jesus is Jesus. my amen. miracle night. Yes, amen. You know? yep. and, and I'll tell you this. If you're desperate and you reach out and grab the edge of Jesus' garment uh, as yes. he goes by, I'll tell you this. And so just before I say anything else, Greg, and and, oh. and, and I'm sorry, I, I haven't got to the teaching. No, yet. we're good. We're good. It's in my heart, and I felt like. We're talking Judy about needs the Holy Ghost. from Australia right there. Right. Yeah. We're talking about the Holy Ghost. People yeah. are saying they got needs. What they what they're not looking for an answer. They're not looking for to sermonize. They're looking for the presence and the power of God to touch them tonight. 
And yeah. so if you have a miracle, you need a miracle from God, whatever it is, strength, healing, miracle, provision, whatever it is, something that's impossible. You don't know what you're going to do. I know I know this impossibility is God's specialty. So I want you right now, lift up your hands to your heavenly father right now. I want you to call out to him right where you are or all around the world. Just lift up your voice, yep. call out to him. Tell him what you need him to do right now. That's it. Just tell him what you need him to do right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We believe, we believe we receive in the name of Jesus. Shut up, Lord. Lord, I thank you now in the name of Jesus for your miraculous power that's being released. God, yeah. we agree together right now. Yes, right Anyone now. That's listening right Jesus. now, whether they're coming yeah. in from Germany, from Finland, you, from America, from you, Canada, yeah. Uh, yeah. from all these nations of the world, Thank right now, Lord. we yeah. agree together, not only for our miracle, but Hallelujah. we agree together for each other's miracle. I yes, come on. Yeah. We don't have to just pray for ourselves. We right. can pray for one another and that you're yeah. so big. You're so mighty. You're so great. There's no limits to you. So that yeah. even as I'm praying and agreeing for somebody else, your presence yeah. and power is touching my life right now in the name of Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight you, is your miracle night. Lord, I thank you now for your miracle power thank you, Jesus. in lives right now. Hallelujah. Can we pray over Judy? She's from Australia right there. Pastor. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank specific. you, Lord. Thank Touch you for your body. Thank, thank you for Jude right now, God. Thank you. Thank you for Jude right now. And God, I pray right now for, for these fluids and for high Jesus, blood pressure. Jesus, Jesus, and you yes. see all these things that are going on. Come down. Lord, I thank you that you're the God of miracles. Lord, we stand on your word that says, by yeah. your stripes, we're yeah. healed. We declare your healing right now. We receive your healing right now you, into our lives. Lord, I thank you for uh, Jude right now in Australia. I thank touch her, you. Touch her right now. Lord. Right now, from the top of her head to yep. the bottom of her feet right now, let your healing power yes. come. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you. And she just yeah, opens up right now. She just receives yeah, your yeah, yeah. Powerful power in her life by faith right now. Yes. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, that uh, just not uh, uh, too many weeks ago, we had a man from our church diagnosed with cancer. Doctors sent him home. There's nothing else they could do. And Lord, we had a Zoom call just like this and your healing power flowed and touched his life. Just no. like you did that for Spence, I pray do that for Jude right now. Yes, Jesus, there's do it. There's distance right between us, but Lord, Lord, there's no distance between you and yes. them. And so I pray your healing power to flow into their life right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bishop, that is, yep. that is. Oh, that's, that's good flow right off the top there. My Hallelujah. God. And, I, <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? I'll just, I'll follow what you want. I don't really. No, oh, you're doing great. Listen, listen, we're about we're about flow. We want to make sure it flows, whatever that uh, looks you know, like. I, okay. Absolutely. And, and you know, my heart is that, you know, people right now, that we're in this season of COVID and it's literally sucked the life out of people. Yeah. It's, you know, it, they've been caught at home. It's discouraged them. And I'll tell you this, the very thing we need, and I'm so glad you were sensitive to the Holy Spirit, uh, Bishop, and said, let's focus this on the Holy Spirit, because this is what people need right now. We can't do anything about what's happening in our world. That is beyond our control. But I'll tell you this, we can uh, do something about what's happening in my life. We can exactly. do something about what's happening in my situation. We can yep. take control over our own lives through prayer and through faith and, and, and see God work yep. out his will in us. And so I'm so glad you were sensitive to say, let's talk about the Holy Ghost because I believe that's exactly what we need right now. Yeah, for sure. And I, I want I want you to go to this website, people. Come on, get that seed in the ground. So when there's anointing, you can feel the anointing right now. I know you can because Holy Spirit's already moving and hovering over us today on this broadcast. So I want you to sow, sow, sow. Please share it out. Get people to come on in Jesus' name, and we're we're believing God. Get this. We have many nations on here. I see Australia. I see New Zealand. I see all kinds of different nations from all over. And so thank you for sharing it and getting it out there. And uh, I'm going to turn it back to Pastor Kevin right now. But please share this broadcast. Greg, I just believe with all my heart that once God speaks, it's done. Yeah. So the scripture says, that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. Wow, Jude, Tom, are you hearing me? Carolyn, 
You hear me? Jesus is making intercession for you. Kev Kirby, Jesus yep. is making intercession for you right now. <laughs> I don't know about you. But no, that, that, not about it doesn't that, matter that. what weight I'm carrying. It doesn't matter what no. I carry. When I start to think, Jesus is making UK, intercession yep. wow, for me right now. He's yes, making intercession on. for you right now. And all I'm doing is I'm lining my prayers up with oh, the my. intercession of Christ. Wow. So you know what? It doesn't matter what I'm going through. Once Jesus speaks, it's done. Uh -huh. It's done. It We're only waiting for the manifestation yeah. of the miracle. So once Jesus declared it, now all I do is I just wait for the manifestation of what Jesus has declared. And sometimes yeah. it happens in seconds. Sometimes right. it takes days. Sometimes it takes longer. But I'll tell you this. It's always at the perfect time. And when yes, it right. says done, it's done. I thank you, Lord. It's done. I thank you. Yes, Miracles you. flowing in my life. Done. Come on. I thank Come you. Come on. Flowing in my life. Done. I thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Done. I thank you. Yeah. It, they're going to be part. They're going to be exactly yes. what God wants. Done. Come on. I thank Whoa, you. Yeah. Yeah. Direction yeah. Yeah. for on. where you Come need on. to go and what you need to do. Hallelujah. Done. For that one looking for wisdom, what's next? What do I do? How do I walk? I thank yeah. you, release of abundance of wisdom, more than enough. Done. Lord, I thank you right now for your yeah. miracle power and yeah. miracles being released. Hallelujah. It's done in the name of Jesus. Yeah, put that in the comments tonight. Put it's done in Jesus' name. It's I want you to done. write that in there. Type that it's in there. Done. It's done in Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. It's Pastor done. Kevin's on fire. Get your seed into this anointing. Come on. Something's happening. Glory be to God. And, 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 and yeah. Greg, while we're in the process, I'm sorry, we're just talking. I know I'm, we're may not preaching. We're just talking right now. We're no, sharing okay. what's alive yeah. in our spirit. But yeah. and it's not that I didn't come with some. I've I've, I've got to. No. Uh, but I know I, you I, never lack. I know maybe, maybe I you never lack. Maybe another time, and I'll give you the tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got to do what the Holy Ghost wants us to do. Yes, I think that's more important. Yep. But but what do you do while you're in process? I, I pray, we declare it's done, but now it, if, if, if some will manifest immediately, some will take a little longer. What do I do? Stay in faith. Don't trample on your prayer. Do you know yeah. how many times I hear people pray in faith for God to do a miracle, and then they pull their 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 plant of faith out of the ground and say, it's wow. Never happen. Oh, oh my, wow. And the miracle was right around the corner you didn't because you didn't know the time of God, you didn't know what the <laughs> time of God was to release that miracle. And yeah. sometimes we get tempted that if it wasn't immediate, then all of a sudden now we, we, we don't we don't stay in faith. But listen to me, stay in faith, don't trample on your prayer, don't yeah. trample on that 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 plant of faith that you've put in the ground. I'll tell you this right. you've declared it, you come into agreement, God's interceding for you but don't trample on don't pull that prayer of faith out of the ground uh, yeah, stay so in good. faith second keep praying wow keep praying until you see it or until god tells you something different keep praying in faith you know sometimes people get all they get all crazy bishop and they start thinking yeah. well, i don't know if i'm praying the will of god or not the will of god well you know what some things you won't know what the will of god is because mm. that's god yeah. so guess what right. god doesn't expect you to know everything that's his job to yeah, know right. So guess what I do? When I don't know everything, I just pray in faith. I believe in faith. And guess what? If it's not what God has, God will show me. And so when I pray in faith, God will do one of two things for me. Bishop, yeah. he will one, okay. give me grace to tell he brings the miracle. Or two, yeah. he'll bring the miracle right then. Either yeah. way, I win. So don't wow. get stressed yeah. about it. Just right. stay in faith. Keep praying. Trust God. And yeah. God's going to either give you the grace his, his special grace to get through until the miracle comes, or he's going to bring the miracle. Either way, you win. Somebody yeah. needs to put in the chat right now, I win. Yeah, I come win. on. Somebody you know, put I that win. in there. I win. I win. I win. I win. I win. I win. win. I win. Yeah. Come on. So I was going to say, what about this, Pastor Kevin? Because, because you know, there's there's the prayer of faith. There's yeah. a petition. There's all different things. So right. if people are tuned in today and they're saying, well, I don't, I don't know, like, because some people pray and it doesn't happen, then they get discouraged, right? right. Absolutely. But but like I'm going to Faithland tomorrow. I'm going to Tulsa tomorrow. So I mean, <laughs> that is the mecca of faith, right? Absolutely. I'm like I'm like I'm going in there and I'm like I better get my faith stirred right up <laughs> because these people are full of faith. And so so can you kind of touch on that, like the difference between the prayer of faith, the uh, having faith to believe for something? Maybe just touch on that because some people 
really wrestle with it. You know, you and I have prayed for thousands, tens of thousands at the altar. And so if their faith is not connecting with ours, you know, power of two or three in agreement, right. I mean, there's a very powerful thing in that. So go ahead. Yeah. So, so, so here's the challenge, Bishop. Here's the challenge that when we go through a difficult time, it's easy to, to get down. You know, recently I, I went through a, a physical challenge in my body and yeah, the doctor gave me some great reports. And literally I had to work hard not to let my mind connect with the doctor and disconnect my spirit from what God was saying. And I right. had to work hard. Right. I had to work hard and, and the miracle didn't happen right away. And right. so so here's the thing. With faith, there's 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 many kinds of faith, but let's focus on two right now. There's the fruit of faith. So we know there's the fruit of the spirit. One of them is faith, yeah. faithfulness. And yeah. faith, the fruit of faith just continues to grow. That as we're faithful, it just keeps growing. Starts yeah. as a little small mustard seed grows. But then there's also the gift of faith. And yeah. the gift of faith is an impartation from God to right. believe God for that thing. And I'll tell you yeah. this, when you're going through a battle, sometimes, you know what I pray, I say, God release the gift of faith to me. You see, we have not because we ask not. And sometimes yeah. you don't realize I'm battling, I'm struggling in my mind. And really what I need to ask God for is the gift of faith that he'll wow. give me this supernatural gift to believe him for his miracle until the perfect time when he chooses to release his miracle. See, right. God, you know, we, we can't tell God when the miracles are released. But I'll yeah. tell you this, there's many times God wants to release the miracle, but it hasn't been because we didn't ask. We didn't. We didn't wow, we didn't wow that's a good place. Wow. Right. We, we did it on our own. And so sometimes yeah. when, when it seems like the battle's long or the battle's hard, it's good to say, God, release the gift of faith in me. And when my faith is weak, I'll tell you this. This is why times like this are so important. When my faith is weak, when I'm having yeah. a difficult time, how you yeah. said, Tom, called you, you and Tom were talking from Finland today. Yeah, I'll tell you this. That's exactly what you need when you're in a battle. You got to right. get with a brother like like Bishop. You got to get with a brother that's going to hold you up. Get with a brother that's going to pray for you. Get with a brother that says, "I'm going to believe God for your miracle." You you you're having a hard time stand. I'm going to stand. Well, and I want to intervene. I want to intervene if I can, Pastor Kevin, because when I went through my darkest time, you were one of the ones that was there the most for me. Because when I when I didn't even know if I could pastor, I didn't even know if I'd ever be used in ministry still. I didn't know if God had a plan. You were one of the guys that God brought into my life that prop, propped me up and said, hey, you can do it. You're going to get through this. You're going to see God do miraculous things. And at the time when you're going through it, you don't always see it. And you were going through stuff yourself at the time, but you didn't even talk to me about that. You just you just kept focus on what you were there to do. And you you and Pam helped me so much. And not just with our church, but just in life and and. You've been such a blessing, and, and I've gained and I've learned so much about faith through you because God has used you as a tool in my life to teach me a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things in ministry from this man right here, people. And so I, I honor him today because, because I mean, I, I haven't met people with supernatural faith like him. I mean, he has faith to get buildings, to get things that people would never even have. And he sees things through the eyes of faith. And so... I, I want you to go to that website so today because there's an anointing here for faith that God is raising. But when I was going through my toughest time, he was just talking about you got to get around people of faith. Absolutely. And it's true because every every day when he'd be here, I mean, he would fly four hours on a Saturday and then be here for eight days. Then he'd go home and then his wife would come. And they did that for one year to help me in my church when I was going through my hardest time in my life. And I, I didn't know if people would like me or people would deal with me, but they kept coming and speaking faith into me, speaking faith into me, speaking faith into me. And eventually I, I just couldn't do the church anymore, but they kept speaking faith in me. And I'll tell you, if you can find one or two people that will believe right. in you, you can keep moving. Right. So I honor you today and I love you, Pastor Kevin Begley and Pam, and, and you have been such a blessing in our lives and uh, and in the lives of my girls too. You know, there's there's three people that have really touched my girls, and that's you and Mark Griffin and Warren Beamer. Mm -hmm. And my and my girls never forget the great things that you've done for them and how kind you've been for them over the years. So thank you. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you this, but I think the principle of what you're saying is so important, Fish, because you're saying we've got to get with people 
who will who will hold us up when we're feeling weak. You know, like the story in the Word where where the man was crippled, he couldn't get to Jesus, and yeah. and and so his friends came and they helped him when he couldn't help himself. Jesus, I, come on. I'm so thankful, and we need people around us. We need listen. If you got if you don't only have dry friends, it's time you connect with this network and come you on. get some friends that are full of life, full of faith, full of Jesus. the power of God. Believing God to do a miracle in their life, in your life, because there's we all have times and we all have seasons where we feel like I can't do it, I can't get through. Yes. It. And in those yes. moments, we need people of faith to gather around us, so to true. Come us on. and to believe yeah. with us that you yeah. know what I don't even know what to pray. That but yeah. I got a, a friend who's full of faith, and I'll yeah. tell you this: he'll pray for me. You know, I laugh. I got a I got a friend in England, and every time he has a challenge. He's calling me every time. He says, I just need somebody of faith to pray yeah, with. Yeah. Just, and we need sure. friends like that. We need, yeah, I, we do. I need them. You need them. We all, we got to have friends that just say, I need a friend that Shut can up, hold up, me up. up. They can Come pray on. in faith. Come on. They're Come not on. praying through the filter of my problem. They're not yeah. praying through the filter of my weight. They're, they're just right. calling on God and they're right. believing for me. And you know, not one of these people that gives you the memorized prayer. Now I need right. down to sleep, right. pray the yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the words were good, yeah. but there was right. it lacked the power. It right. lacked Come the on. power, you yeah. know. And we need you got to have some friends who not. Oh, you're not on fire! Come on. Words. It's not about the flow. It's about yeah. the power of God standing with you, agreeing with you, and they're not yes. gonna give up on you. And whether it yeah. takes your miracle takes a week, no. a year, ten years, they're gonna yeah. keep standing. They're gonna keep praying in faith. They're not going to back down or back away. And that, Greg, I believe is the whole point of this network that God has called you to establish. That it's, right. a, that it's a connecting and a collecting point to build people up. It's a collecting point to inspire people. It's a collecting point that, that people will literally launch out in the purposes of God over oh, their lives. Good. And I believe that's one of the main reasons that God has called right. you for such a time as yeah. this. To, to take on this job right now in this time, in this season. Mm. Greg, we're in the last days. And I'll mm. tell you this, we need the Holy Ghost. Jesus, we need yes, the we power did. of God. We are desperate we for it. And so I apologize. I didn't get to my teaching. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. We're on. This we're good. Powerful. We're good. Yeah. Well, I want I want you to get your seed in the ground. Come on, go to that website, myeim.org. We're going to prophesy. I know we've been doing it the whole time, but there's fire on, there's fire on here, people, today. And I, I want I want you to get everything you can. This man is on fire. This man, we're blessed because in November he's coming to minister to our network here in Calgary and Vancouver. And so we're we're so blessed. And him and his wife are coming. It's going to be a powerful time together. And uh, we go back like thirty years of ministry. I've I've known this man, and uh, so we believe how God uses him. And sometimes we just need to find. Uh, you used to teach this, Pastor Kevin, years ago. Is there needs to be a point of contact, right? Absolutely. And so talk to us about that because people are going to sow their seed and we're going to pray for them today. And so talk about a point of contact because that's really important when we're moving in faith. Well, you know, it's a funny thing because, you know, sometimes, you know, people think a point of contact, what's that? What's the point of that? But we see an example in scripture where the apostle Paul literally would, he would preach and then take pieces of his garment handkerchiefs if you want to use the word he would yeah. take handkerchiefs that he had against him while he was preaching while he was under the anointing and he would send them to people like the sick and they yeah. would be healed and and the handkerchief had no the power of god wasn't about the hanky the hanky wasn't filled with the spirit but it was a point of contact and a connection wow. from the anointing to the person's life and even so if you're saying that our offerings can often work as a point of contact, it's right. a step of faith that I'm yeah. taking my offering from where it is and I'm yeah. connecting it to the anointing that is <laughs> present and operating. And right, right, now right. I see God's presence. And, you know, you can. Come on, this is so powerful. So there's all kinds of people. They say, well, wow, what's that? You're taking a hanky from a preacher. What's that? There's God's not in that. You're. You misunderstand. It's a point of contact. This is this is not an Old Testament story. This was not mm -hmm. Moses. This was Paul, and he was using it as a point to say, here, mm. under the anointing, God did this. And right. even as this was against me, what God did here, God yeah. can do where you are. And wherever right. you are in the world right now, what God is doing, what God is operating in our lives, he can do in you. What we're praying yes. for, what we're believing Jesus, for, he can do in you. 
And I'll tell you, it's the point of contact is a wow. powerful thing as we agree together for what God has. It is. Well, I'm going to pull some people up here, Pastor Kevin, and we're sure. going to pray over them and prophesy over them. Go Absolutely. to that website, myeim.org. Get your seed in the ground, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna minister to you. I know you've already got great ministry, but we're gonna call it forth. This is Kent hey, Brazel. Kent is from San Antonio, Texas. Awesome, Ken. Uh, Bishop, let me say this. Yep. I, I love the text out of John chapter 16, verse 7. You know, because I often think, you know, wouldn't it be amazing to have been alive during Jesus' days? Mm. Wouldn't it have been amazing to hear Jesus preach and to hear him teach? Wouldn't it have been amazing to see Jesus feed the crowds of thousands, to heal the sick, to cast out devils, to rape? Wouldn't it have been amazing to see that? But listen to what it says in John 16, 7. This is Jesus talking, and he says, but I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. I love it. Now, now follow this. We miss this. Sometimes we read it, and we're so busy. Oh, good. He's going to send the helper. No, no, we're missing it. Look what he said. It is to your advantage that I go away. Wow. And the whole reason Jesus came, he, he fulfilled his mission. He lived, he died, he, he carried the price of sin, he offered salvation. But then he says, now I've done what I was supposed to do, but now here's the deal. It, you know what? As much as you might think it'd be nice to sit under me, it's to your advantage that I go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And God's yeah. got, he's saying he's got an advantage for you. You know what? We don't live in the Old Testament. times. He's got an advantage. He says, I'm going to go come on. I'm going to send the helper to come to you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. And so, so now yeah. we're asking for the Holy Ghost. Well, yeah. this is for yeah. our advantage. And listen yeah, to me, this really isn't good. some kind of weird prayer, a flaky thing. This is the yeah. word of God. Jesus yeah. said, I've got to go for your advantage. I've got to go to help you. I've got to go so the Holy wow. Spirit can come. He's your helper. He'll yeah. be with you. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how big it is. Doesn't matter how difficult it is. Doesn't matter yeah. what you're going through. Hallelujah. To your That's advantage. Funny. He, Jesus sent the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah the, power, the powerful thing is, is like, you know, in a tennis match, because you like tennis, uh, tennis, you get to the place where it's like, it says, advantage Kevin or advantage Greg or whoever it is. Right. And, but you have to take it that next step. Right. So that advantage kick, kicks in, right? Right. Yeah. So Powerful. And I love it. So you said it's to our advantage that he yeah. goes. So we accept him, and now we got an advantage. Hallelujah, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're going we're gonna to pray over Kent. Kent's from San Antonio, Texas. All right. Uh, let's pray over him if we can. Amen. Thank you, Holy yeah, God. Lord, I thank you for Kent right now. now. I, yeah. I, I thank on. you for his life. I thank you, right. Lord, for his passion. Yeah. Lord, Kent is a man with a passion for you. Yeah, he has a desire true. for you. It burns yeah. me. You know, the words that are coming to my mind right now is like the mm. prophet who said he's got a fire shot up in his bones. And, and wow. I just feel like Kent is like that prophet. He's got a, like a fire shot up in his bones Good. that Good. needs come to come out of him. And Lord, come I on, thank you. Yeah, that's powerful. Thank you for what you're doing in him, what you've done in him. Hallelujah. I thank you, the Lord, even though uh, he's all the way down in San Antonio. Lord, I thank you for yeah. your presence, your power. And I thank you yeah. for the power of God that's working yeah. in him and is about to be released in his life and Thank through his Lord. life to a Lord. new measure and to a new dimension. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. About to a new season. My God. And it's going to be an incredible season. And let me tell you this. It, things that you've, you've seen in others that you've desired, God says, that's good that you've desired them in others, but he's about to do them in you and wow. through you for his glory. Hallelujah. And so that, you know, those that you looked at and you were like, wow, look at how, how mightily God is using that one. And what yeah. my, what would happen to my life and my ministry if God would do that? Listen to me. God is about to do it. I thank you, God. I thank you for the no, fire you, that Lord. is shot up in him. And God, I pray thank now you, a yeah. fresh anointing. I pray a fresh touch of the Holy Ghost. Lord, yes. I right now in thank the name Lord. of Jesus, God, let thank there you, come Lord. a fresh work. Fresh Thank fire, you, fresh Thank fire, you, fresh fire from very Thank heaven you, of God. Let it come on Kent right yes, in now. the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Thank amen. You, Kent Thank you, Lord. will win in Jesus' yes, name. In the name of Jesus. This is Pastor Pastor Dean uh, from UK. 
That's All right. right. UK. He's part of our network, actually. Great young man doing great things for God. Go ahead. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank yes. Pastor Dean. I thank you, God, yes. for his call. I thank you, God, for thank his you, obedience. Yeah. Yes, Lord, Jesus, right. right Jesus. Now the UK is, you yeah. know, we've heard all the reports and all the yeah. things they yeah. said yeah. were going to happen. Yeah. And half of them haven't. And, but Jesus, Lord, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you right now that God, you raised up Dean for on, such yeah. a time as this. Wow. And Lord, I thank you that you're yeah. going to use him to operate wow. in the presence and the power of the thank Holy you, Spirit. Holy Ghost. Come Lord, on. I thank you. That not only are you going to use him in a local community, I thank you that you're going to use him in a local community, but God, you're declaring it's not just for that community. Come on. Some people have a call on them that's for a region, and some have a call for a nation. And God, you put in my heart right now that Dean has a national calling. Wow. That watch, because you're going to see that national (laughs) calling. And you're going to see it explode. And I'm going to tell you this, your influence will not just be in your house. Thank God for this. Come on. Come on. It will not just be in your house. But God is going to continue to grow and expand that influence in Jesus' name. Um, Hallelujah. Right? That's good. Yeah. As I was praying for for Dean, yep. Pastor Dean, um, it reminded me of a story years ago. I was in the nation of Trinidad in Tobago, and I was in this little small country church in Tobago. Yep. And there was a young man coming to the meetings, and uh, didn't have a lot of money. You know, he wore he had one dress shirt. He'd wash it every night and come the next yep. meeting with the same shirt. He just that's all he had. Yeah. And God put a word in my heart. That, wow. that God was going to send him to Bible school yeah. and that he was going to bring him back to his nation. He was going to reach his nation for the glory of God. Wow. And uh, why he's hearing my word, he's thought, God, how will you do that? I don't even, I don't have the money to go to Bible. How will you do that? And he said, without telling anyone, within, within six months, somebody came, gave him all the money. He went through Bible school came out debt free and then became a regional director for an entire fellowship of churches wow. in the nation. And I'll tell you wow. this, uh, Pastor Dean, where you are right now yep. may not look like national influence in, in that incredible nation of the UK, but I'm yeah. telling you, it is coming. Wow. As, yeah, as wow. much as, as I was praying you, God brought that story. Come I haven't on. that story Come for on. a long time. God wow. brought that story back Thank to my mind. Oh my God. Hold for that young man, <laughs> he's about yeah. to do for you. Come yeah, on, Pastor Dean. Your, Come your, on. your uh, influence oh, is God. about to expand. Yeah. It's about yes. to grow. It's going yes. on where it is right now. Come on. And the text wow. that's coming to my mind is, that everywhere your foot touches, that God's going to give you hallelujah. So get ready. Everywhere you're, yes. get ready. You're going to be walking across the UK. You're going to be touching yes. a lot of yes. places. Yes. And, you're, and, and understand this, everywhere you go, God's going to give yes. it to you. You're in, I, th- I, I, I feel the anointing on UK right now. Let's pray over Pastor Natalie and Pastor Dale. They're in wow. UK also. Come on. Let's just hallelujah. Because they're receiving it right now. In Jesus yeah, name. Lord. Yeah, yes, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. You know, I, 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 love, I love the United Kingdom, Lord. I had yeah, such a great yeah. privilege to go there for so many years, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. even as my son was there. And I right. traveled across that nation and, yep. and visited churches and visited believers and, and, and had these great opportunities. I love that nation. And Lord, I thank you now for your representatives on this wow. call tonight. And I pray God use them in a new way. Yes, Lord, Lord I pray Jesus. give them a fresh touch of the Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. Lord, I pray <laughs> that you would use them. <laughs> and Lord, here's the word that's in my heart fire. <laughs> Let revival fire come across. Fire. Yes. Lord, they Lord, have God. seen the power of God in the Jesus, past. Jesus, come on. They come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But God, I declare, use this network, Shut use these Lord, believers Lord, that for the fire. Fire of God to be My released God, in the yes. UK, not only in the past, but in the thank present, you, in the yes. right now. Use them, God. Lord, yes. I thank you that everything yes. their hands touch shall prosper. God. God, I thank My you God. for that My scripture. God. We declare it over yes. our UK brothers in the and name of God, Jesus. Yes. Everything their hands touch shall yes. prosper. God, be. use them yeah. to bring the prosperity of God to them. Yes. Yes. Use them to see lives change and transform. Lord, I ask right now in the name of Jesus. For, for our UK brothers, God, I ask for a fresh impartation of the gifts yes. of the Spirit, the nine gifts of the Spirit. Lord, wow. I ask that they would, you know, Father, we, we yes. at times we all operate, it seems like, in, in a dominance of yes. one gift or another right. gift. 
but God for our brother and sister from the UK right now. Yeah. I ask that they would operate yeah. in the gifts of the Spirit to accomplish and fulfill the will of God Woo! in their life and in their nations, I pray. Lord, I pray for the, them right now. Oh, and as they Jesus. just agree right now, as they receive it right now, I declare Hallelujah. God will come fresh. Um, miracles on, right now. Yeah. Miracles will flow through them. Thank you, Jesus. I declare Thank that healing you, will flow through them. I declare that yep. words of wisdom, words yeah. of knowledge will flow through them. Lord, that yep. people stand come back on. unsaved. My God yep. is coming into me right now. God, Jesus, come on. We're going to use these gifts with the wow. unsaved. The unsaved are going to step back and say, how did you come know? Who yes. told you that? And you're right, going to right, say, right, God right, told right. me. And come guess on. what else God told me? And you're going to wow. see God use you mightily. Begin wow. to, God's going to anoint you. So look for opportunities to use the nine gifts of spirit. My God, the prophetic. Yeah, come on. Prophetic. He's gonna, yeah, it's going to rise up. We yeah, call yeah, it yeah, forth yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, prophetic yeah, yeah. is rising up. Wow. You you this, you're going to not only keep it just in the church, not just come in on. the family, not just in the house of God. You're going to yeah. take it out. And it's going to be used as an evangelism tool. Let me Jesus. tell you, this. He <laughs> just use the gifts of the Spirit in the church. Oh my God! Yeah. Everywhere he went, and get ready. The UK, the fire of God's coming. He's wow. going to use all of you in the UK as wow. you just begin to say, "Yes, God, here am I. Use me." Get ready. The fire of God is coming. Come There's fresh so revival fires coming to the UK Ooh, in Jesus' on. name. There's another one from UK. Michelle just hopped on. Hallelujah! Something from the UK. Shabbat Shalom. Yes. Wow. Come on, listen, if I were you, I'd get that seed in the ground right now. But there's no way I can, I can hardly even stand. I'm getting drunk just sitting here, PK. Come on, glory be to God. I'll tell you, something's happening. Something's happening. I want to pray for Pam. She's in the, that's your that's your wife's name, of course. Yeah. Pam is in the United States of America. Come on, pray for Pam. Yes. Would, please. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I was just in, just in America uh, last week, Lord. I thank you right now uh, for... All of our American brothers and sisters, Lord, you see what's happening in that nation right now. You see the uh, things that are going on and, and, and the confusion. You see those that are trying to operate in a spirit of deception. But Lord, I thank you for Pam. And I thank you for believers. And I thank you for those that are hungry and thirsty for you. I thank you, God, that they don't walk under a spirit of deception. But Lord, I pray use them to set the captive free. Use them, God, so that as they would speak, blinders would lift. Use them as they would speak, God, that literally clarity would come. Lord, Lord, help them under the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they don't have to enter into the argumentative mode. There's so many right now and they just want to argue. They want to divide. But I thank you that the presence of God is going to set the captive free. I thank you that the power of God is going to loose them. And those chains that are trying to bind them, that spirit of Jezebel is trying to come on their mind. We break it off right now. And I thank you, God, Jesus, for yes, break it. all of our American brothers and sisters. I thank wow. you, God, you're going to use them, whatever yes. state they're in. I think you're going to use them. And we're going to, we come against that spirit of Jezebel. We break you, it Lord. down. Yeah. We declare it has no yeah. right. Wow. We stand in agreement with Thank our you, brothers Jesus. and sisters. We join our prayer together. And we yeah. declare to that, uh, that territorial spirit, it must move. It must back off. Because now, in the name of Jesus, the presence and the power of God is about to be released. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for Pam, God. Thank you for her life. And God, now yeah, I pray. God. Lord, release, I, I just feel in my heart, release a level of, a greater level of prosperity for her. Yes, come on. Thank you, God. Prosperity to do come everything on. you called her to. God, you called her to do come some on. incredible things. Her heart is full. And so now, Lord, I ask that you would release uh, 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 more than enough, more than enough to do everything. God, I thank you. You're the God of more than enough. I thank you that you don't just have enough to get her by, but I thank you the God of more than enough. And I thank you, Lord, for Pam. Right now, you want to bring more than enough. That's in my heart. That's not just a word for the nation. That's a word for her. God, mm -hmm. bring more than enough into her life and her situation. We agree with her right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, Hallelujah. we say, open doors, bring the right people, bring the right come people. On. If you need God's provision, God's prosperity, you agree as I'm praying for Pam right yeah, now. You come on. It for yourself. Right. Yeah. Yes, right. the thing about God is he just doesn't have to limit it. So it's put in my heart here for Pam, but you can receive it right where right. you are. In the name of Jesus. Exactly yeah. where you are. And so God, I thank you. <laughs> and even for the widow, you brought more than enough 
than she needed. Hallelujah. You brought her enough to get her through the trouble. You got her enough to get her through the hard times. You brought Come her on. enough to get her into the next season of provision yeah. and prosperity. And I wow. thank you for Pam right now that you are the God of more than enough <laughs> to bring us into that next season of prosperity Ooh. that you have for her. We declare it done now in My Jesus' Lord. name. You know, I was a good Pentecostal boy, a good Pentecostal young boy. And then I met Dr. <laughs> Kevin Begley and he taught me what the Bible taught about prosperity. And then I got wrecked forever <laughs> yeah. because I actually said, even though I didn't learn it growing up, I, I learned, this is what the Bible says. Where have I been for all these years? Yeah. And, and so, we so I'm telling you, you need to breath. sow into this anointing today because this, listen, you can feel the power on you. You can feel the fire. And, and my God, this, Shata Kappa Soto, Listen, there's so much fire. Esther, we're going to pray over. Esther's from Kenya. Come on, just release it. Right we're going to pray over Australia next. Come on. Hallelujah. I, I have a number of African countries in my church. My worship yes. leader is from Ghana. Right. Uh, uh, a board member from, from Kenya. Got a board member from Nigeria. Uh, right. You know, I have a number of African countries in my congregation. I love the African nations. I so love share, share it, share it, share it, and so, 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 and share, yeah. share, share. Come on, and and so, Esther, I'm I want to agree with you for what God has, and I want to agree with you for your incredible nation you live of Kenya. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My God, hallelujah, Lord. I Come on, Sister Ruth, there it is, right there. Yeah, hallelujah, Lord. I thank you for Esther, Lord. You've called her and you've called Kenya to be a leader in the incredible nation of Africa, you've called yeah, her to be a leader and yeah. as a country to be a leader in that, in that continent. I thank you. And Lord, I thank you that in the nation of Kenya, you called Esther, you put your hand upon her, your anointing sets in her life. And now Lord, even as she wrote down fire, I pray for fire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh, oh, pray, up, she so is. I pray she begin to feel the presence the name of, of Jesus, the power Lord, of God. Lord. She begin to shake under the presence Cut, of so God Lord. Almighty. Let it literally touch her body Jesus, Jesus, right Jesus. now. I thank you, God, for what My you're God. doing for Esther. I mm, thank you, God, mm, for what mm, you're going to mm, do mm. in that nation. We pray for Kenya. Jesus, Lord, Jesus, we pray Jesus, that it will Jesus, rise Jesus, up and fulfill Jesus. the prophetic destiny that you oh, have God. upon that country God, and lord i God. thank you for that angel that you have esther that you mm, placed her in that nation for such a time as this now yes be with her lord let lord the scripture says that your yeah. favor surrounded david like a shield so i yeah, pray yeah. that over esther right now let the favor of god surround yeah. her like a shield that literally Jesus, the fiery Jesus. dark the evil one can penetrate the shield yeah. of god that surrounds yeah. her that no, wow. uh, no sickness, no poverty can attack her because the favor of God surrounds My God. her. <laughs> Lord, unsaved look at her and say, why oh, is so it powerful. everything yeah. seems to work out for you? Wow. Why wow. is it you seem wow. to move forward? Why wow. is it you seem to advance? Yes, you have problems. Yes, you have challenges, but you always seem to advance. Why yeah. is it? And I thank you for the favor of God that right. surrounds Esther. I declare yeah. that I literally see a, a friend of fire. It's the favor of God that's wow. literally surrounding Esther right now. Wow. I thank you for that wow. in wow. Jesus' wow. name. Wow. My God. Wow. Wow. And I'll tell you come this. On, come on, some more. Yeah, you better take yeah. that in your life, too. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on, people. Get that seed in the ground. There's something happening. We're, we're sowing right now, and we're... Uh, so we're praying over Australia right now. Pastor Marcus or Pastor Rachel, are you on there? Just say hello. I want to pull you up. Uh, these are some pastors in our network that I'd like you to pray over today, Pastor Kevin. Uh, Pastor Rachel and Pastor, Pastor. Uh, yeah, there's Rachel right there. And Pastor Marcus, they're, 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 yeah, I won't even say anything about it. I've ministered at their church, though, in Australia. Beautiful. Hallelujah. So yeah, go ahead. Hallelujah. Share this broadcast. Come on. So Hallelujah. if you're from Australia, get your seed in the ground right now. Something's happening. We're releasing words over Australia right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for the nation of Australia right now. Yes, I come thank on. You, God, that you know do some great things. But mm. this is not the end. It is yeah. not a peak. It is not going to go down. This is just the beginning. I thank yeah. you, God, that Australia shall be saved. I thank you, God, for those yeah. in this network. I thank you, Pastor yeah. Rachel, and I thank you for yeah. the others. God, I pray yeah. that you will use them mightily for your glory. Jesus. Lord, yeah. we call forth right now in the yeah. name of Australia. Lord, I thank yeah. you for wow. the harvest. I see a yeah. mighty harvest coming across yeah. that nation. 
Lord, there's so many people who have heard of Jesus. There's so many people yeah. who, and Lord, and I, and I see that some have rejected him. Some have turned their back yeah. because of an encounter with a believer, an encounter with a church, and it turned them off. But Lord, I thank you that that's not the end. I thank yeah. you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I thank you for the conviction of God. I thank, thank you for you, the Lord. love and the grace of God that's drawing them. I thank you yeah. according to your word. It's your kindness that's drawing them to repent. Right. Thank you, and Jesus. Lord, I yeah. thank you for a wave of kindness, that's that, that the Lord. kindness of God that's sweeping across this nation, right? Right now and yeah. i thank you for lord an incredible harvest that's coming to that right. nation right now and i yeah. thank you Come for on. pastor rachel and others and i thank yeah. god they're going to bring in a harvest get ready there's rachel. pastor marcus there's, there's, there's your husband there yeah esther and her husband. get ready get ready to expect it right now in yeah. jesus Come on. marks get ready to expect it right now Come on, Go ahead. not just yeah. a few more are coming in wow. jesus name wow wow, wow, wow wow man and the word is coming to me is double and wow. that word double, it's two things. <laughs> the word double means Come on, physically going Jesus. twice as much. But double in the word of God, when we see the word double, was a sign of his favor. And what wow, I wow, wow, wow. God is saying double, he's saying his favor of yeah. supernatural increase. And that's what's coming alive to me right now. For you. Ooh, yeah, Hallelujah. come on. Supernatural come on. increase. There's a double, a sign of his favor. And you're going to see it come. That. And I'm telling <laughs> you, come on. it's going to come, come, on, awesome. it's gonna wow. come in results. It's going to come go. in growth. It's going to come in finances. Yeah, come on. Listen, get ready. Start looking. Wow. It's coming. It's coming. Wow. Wow, 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 double, wow, wow. doubles. Yeah. Somebody needs to take that right. Double. His in favor name, is increased, it. and it's wow. literally that that supernatural increase of God, that double that God Woo! is bringing right now, and we wow. declare it in Jesus' name. My God, what an anointing in Australia. We got a lot of Aussies on here right now. Julie, just pray over Julie right now. Just, just speak a blessing over them. I'll just pull them up. Just be a blessing. You don't have to give them a word. Don't give them a word. Just speak over them. Yeah, Lord. yeah, Lord. Lord. I thank you for Julie right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. I thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, for Prima right now, Lord Jesus. I thank you for every one of them. I thank you, God, that you're yep. you're going to do better than they imagine, better than they dream. Thank you for Jules, Lord. I thank you, God, that you are going to be uh, literally, you're going to blow their mind what you're about to do and what you're about Hallelujah. to do. And Lord, as we take it now by faith, we receive it by faith. I thank you now that God, there's coming not, and, and what's coming to my mind in my spirit right now, that it's not far off. This is not a word for, for five years away. You know, sometimes, especially with the prophetic, God puts a word in our heart and we can't see the time. We just know it's coming. It, and, and just because it didn't happen right then doesn't mean it isn't coming. But the what's God put in my heart right now is that this word over this nation isn't for a far off, but it's in not many days. Get ready. Be looking wow. for it. So even as the wow, prophet wow, wow. Uh, Elijah went out and he looked for the cloud, he was expecting the cloud yeah. of rain of God's provision as an yeah. answer to his prayer to be released and the abundance of God to come. I want you to start every day. Go out and look for the release of God's provision and his abundance that's coming and it might come yeah. only the size of a man's hand, but I'm going to tell come you, on. it's going to come and it's going to rain upon your life and upon your region. Get ready. It's not wow. far off. Hallelujah. My God, my God, come on, share this broadcast, share, 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 get it out. We're, get, we're getting more and more people coming on. There's fire happening in Jesus. Name. My God. And are you okay? Do you need a drink or anything? <laughs> you're, you're on, you're on fire. So I, I don't want to stop. How about Kevin Kirby? Here's an old blast from oh, the past right here. I love Kevin Kirby. Yeah, He's a good man. Amazing. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank, for you, Kevin. Lord. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, I thank you that Kevin has always had a desire for you. I thank you that when others have kind of wandered through this way and that way, Kevin has always had a fire for you. He's always had a desire for you. He's always yeah. desired to be around the men of God. He's always desired to be around the presence of God. He's always desired to be around the gifts and the supernatural. And I thank you. And so, God, even in this season now, I pray yeah. that you would bring a new satisfaction. Come on. Yeah. Lord, bring it into his life. Yeah. Lord, a yeah. new satisfaction where he experiences yeah. those things that he's longed for, things that he's put yeah. in the ground for years, things right. that he believed for years that he right. wanted, he wanted to see, he wanted to experience, he wanted to be yeah. a part of. Lord, I pray multiply that. Bring it yeah. to him now in a greater measure than he's ever known, ever experienced. Lord, I yeah. thank you for Kevin. I so thank good. God that you're going to bring such a Holy Ghost satisfaction. So God, 
you're you're gonna you're gonna lead him. You're gonna direct him. You're gonna put him in the exact right place. And God, wow, you're gonna so do good. that in him. It's gonna just be like this waves of refreshing. So that's what I see. So and and, and Kev is just gonna refresh you. And yeah. and and so you have friends and relationships that have right. refreshed you. But literally, right. it's gonna come waves of refreshing Thank from you, Holy the Spirit. very presence of God, and it's gonna be released in your life. Thank Hallelujah. you, Holy Spirit. Wow. Now, look, while we got Kevin, why don't we get Shannon Mischuk, the sister-in-law there? Oh, yes. Yeah, Shannon, Shannon's in from Kitchener, Ontario, right there. Great couple of faith, yep. great couple yes, of God. Sure. They're powerful. Yeah. God's using them mightily. Uh, God's doing great things. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for Shannon. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, God, yeah. for yeah, how you use sense. your mighty. I thank you, God, for <laughs> Shannon's influence. Come on. Well, what's yep. she coming Come in my on. heart? I just started to pray about her. Yep. Thank you for her influence. And you just dropped in my heart so strong wow. that, that you want to expand that. And that True, she influence, does, yeah. I literally see thank you, God. That, that you're I just was starting to thank you for her influence that she has. And you're yep. dropping in my heart that you're going right. to expand it's it. It's going to be more. Yeah. Right. And, and, so and, and, and what's coming to me, uh, Shannon, is that it's influence for the nations. And Jesus, and wow. I'm not connected at all, but what God's put in my heart, it's influence for the nation. <laughs> oh, and your on. influence is going beyond Ooh, where it is right now. I know you have influence, but God says, get ready wow, 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 wow. to the nations. Get ready. Oh, get ready. Wow. There's gonna God's gonna about to open <laughs> doors. God's about to bring divine <laughs> connections. God's about to bring divine setups. And oh, even some people you know and you had a relationship with, all of a sudden, through them, doors are going to open up. And I just see this Come supernatural on. expanding of influence. Wow. And, and Shannon, I went to pray a whole different direction. And as I just, I had the first five words out of my mouth, God just brought it so alive to me. Get ready. There is a global influence coming. God's going to use you. And it's for his purposes. Hallelujah. You have not been on the backside of the desert. You have not been... You know what? Every and everything you've seen, as good as it has been, is pales into comparison into this next season. What God's going to do and the yeah, global influence, in Jesus, global Jesus. influence. That's the word. Global <laughs> influence. It's coming to you. Hallelujah! And, on, and, I, I'd love to keep praying, but that's what's in my heart. So I'm just yeah, going to release that and that's say, beautiful. it's it's that's there beautiful. and it's for you. Come on, I'm telling you, so into this anointing. My God, something's happening right. We're going to go to the United States. We're going to go back to some. I like I like when prophets and apostles prophesy over prophets and apostles. So I'm gonna pull up. This is Apostle Ruth. She's from uh, uh, Kissimmee, Florida. Pastor Kevin. Awesome, Pastor awesome. Pastor Kevin, go ahead. I got all kinds of relatives in Florida. You know, she had a, she had a powerful word. You spoke you spoke over Kenya and talked about how influential it was today. And this morning, she released a word on Facebook that God had Kenya as as no a very very pre yeah very. Uh, anyways, the word you gave it really lined up with what she released on Facebook today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise Woo. the Lord. Lord, I thank you for, for, for Ruth. And, I, and Lord, yeah. I, I thank you the scripture Jesus. that we should, like the apostle told us, we should all desire to prophesy. Yeah. That's right. uh, and, and I thank you for Ruth that even as she's speaking, as she's declaring, <laughs> there's oh, time drunk. speaking stuff and wow. it just is in her heart, but it's actually prophetic. It's actually from yeah. the spirit. And Lord, I yep. thank you for the prophetic unction yep. in yep. Ruth. Lord, wow. this nation, Florida, uh, and, and our and and our the nation of America and our globe right now, we need the prophetic spirit to rise up. Yes, so I do. speak right. to that prophetic in her. Yes, come on. Or to rise up like a giant. Shut. Thank you for what's there. Wow. I call that that prophetic forth. Let it rise up. Let it come with might. Let it come with greater power. Let it come with greater authority. Lord, I pray that that Ruth's prophetic will be so accurate that even those who don't believe in the prophetic will say, I don't even right. know how to handle this. I just know it's true. I, I, I don't even believe in that kind so of stuff, true. but I know it's Powerful true. Word. Lord, I pray the prophetic on wow. Ruth's life. I, I just see that. I see that as she's declaring it. Yeah. People are like, I don't even know how to handle that. I don't yeah. know what to say to them. Lord, I thank you for that yeah. prophetic spirit. It was already oh there, but I thank you for the expansion of that prophetic yeah. spirit. I thank come you that it's going to come so strong. I thank wow. you that it's going to create a new avenues of ministry, new doors of opportunity. Yeah. I thank yeah. you that it's yeah. going to accomplish yeah. new uh, yeah. works in people's lives. I thank you for that prophetic yeah. spirit. And we yes. pull it forward. My God, 
Like Jesus. it's like a lion. I, I just see it like a lion. Literally Come on. Roaring, wow. Roaring. That prophetic word is like a roar <laughs> and it's coming out of you and accomplishing. <laughs> I can see it for the glory of God. This is absolutely powerful, Ruth. I, I, I'm so excited. I, 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 my God, I see it coming. Wow. To a new measure. Wow. Wow. Not, I'm not saying it's not there. I'm saying I'm seeing it to as good as it's been. I'm seeing it to a new measure. Ooh, shut up, Asaf. Come on, come on, come on, people. There's Hallelujah. fire on your share this broadcast. Get it out. My God, Thank this you, is Lord. happening. Listen, if you received the word, I'd get I'd get seed in the ground if I were you. My God, shut up, up Asaf. It's God. so powerful. Where's Dan Bailey? Dan, say hello on there. I want him to speak over you. Dan's also from Florida, from Claremont, Florida. And uh, I'm not going to say anything about Dan to you, but he's he's on here, I believe. And so we're going to, I want you to go just so, I'm, I'm kind of drunk here, people. I'm just receiving it myself. Listen, we're sowing into this anointing. My God, do you think we're going to miss a, an opportunity to give on this? Shut that cup up. See, so see, go ahead. PJ. See, you know what I believe? That every time when we get in a service where the anointing of God is. Yeah, come on, tell us. We just need to receive it. And we, yeah. and here's the thing. I love it because when we sit in the anointing, I, yeah. I do it this way. You know how when if you want to go to a barbecue, the yeah. best meat is when you you marinate the meat. You you oh, soak sure. it you, in some yeah. flavor, and then it just tastes oh. incredible. This yeah. is what we do when we come into times like this. We're yeah. literally marinating, and the right. whole, we're taking the Holy Spirit's flavor in us and it's making it incredible and i'll tell you this even when we're praying for others we're receiving into our lives yeah. there's, there's so many times when i've been in holy ghost meetings my god and and i prayed for others and god's done it for me yeah or, for sure. or others yeah. have been praying for and i'm agreeing right. and god's released it in my life and yeah. i'm so excited because even tonight as we're on these meetings and god's just uh, speaking by his spirit to us wow. i believe this that even though it might be directed at one place, I believe the Holy Spirit Take is it all, yeah. applying it. Yes, yes there, there is a there's there's a there's an application to one, but it's also so can, there is an overflow that can touch others. Yeah, wow, so true. Yeah, well, this is this is Dan. He's in Claremont, Florida, just outside of uh, just outside of Kissimmee. Amen. He's taking Amen. Florida fire. He said, <laughs> <laughs> "Yes." Praise the Lord for Florida right now, you know, oh, and, yeah. and uh, you know, standing up for their nation. And Dan, just yep. even as your state is a leader in your nation, Come on, it's a leader in your nation, Dan, I call yeah. forth that in you and that wow. you will, that same anointing that God has put wow. up in your state for your nation, Come on. I declare it over your life Come right on. now, that up, God will up. raise you up to be the leader in the nation. And I'll tell you this, it won't always be the popular opinion. It won't always be the opinion everyone wants to speak, but it's the one that will inspire. It will, it's the one that will encourage. It's the one that will touch. Lord, I thank you for Dan right now. And I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for what you're doing. And I thank you for what's about to come. Hallelujah. Lord, I can literally see it right now. And Lord, that same anointing that is on that state, to be a leader is on Dan's life. He is called to lead. He's called to make a difference. He's called to Jesus. Yep. get ready. Watch yep. God expand it in Jesus' name. Wow. Yeah. So powerful. So powerful. Listen, people, get your get your seed in the. I can't even hardly talk here. Get your seed in the ground. So so so. Share share share. Get it out there. Get it out there. Get it out there. Here, here. This is my friend Lance from Alabama. He's been on the whole broadcast. Let's go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I won't even say anything about him to you. Amen. Yeah. Lance is a graduate graduate of Parsley's Bible College. People. Ah, hallelujah. Good man. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I, 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 as a young man, I used to yeah. go to Parsley's when, you know, in the early days. And when He's it very was good friends day. with Clint. Yeah. Clint, he's been to Clint's house. He's very good friends. Amen. Well, I'll tell you this, it's good anointing. Sit under that anointing, and I'll tell you this, it's amazing what happens, right? You sit under the fire of God. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Lord, I thank you for Lance. I thank you for his passion. Yeah, come on, prophet. Thank yeah, that's you, good. God. Go right there. Oh, yeah. I thank you, God, that that the, that his emojis aren't fire, that he's on fire. He's on come fire on. for you. And, Lord, I thank you that even as he sat 
in 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 another man's house, you expanded his vision. You expanded his purposes. You expanded his call. As as you sat there, he he already loved you, but literally you it molded him. You poured so many prophetic things into his spirit in those days. And literally the word that's come into my heart right now is get ready because those things that God spoke to you in that season. Now I realize he spoke to you for in a number of seasons, but God's saying those things that he spoke in that season are about to, 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 to manifest. You're going to start to on, see man. those things come forth. And let me tell you this, the manifestation of those things that God has spoken into your life during that wow. season, it's going to yeah. come and not to a small measure, not to the 30, wow. 60 or a hundred no. fold, but wow. literally to that Deuteronomy thousand fold. Yeah. Wow. You're that's so good. A thousand fold of the yeah. things that God birthed in wow. your heart during that season. Things wow, wow, wow. that you had, had in conversations, things that you had in Jesus. prayer, things that you had at, at the altar, things that came alive to you, things that you shared with those that were close to you. I, I just feel like God says, thousandfold increase, get ready. Wow. It's coming and it's there coming. You go, what you have that very things that, that prophetically wow. came alive in your heart, get ready. They're coming for such a time as this. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. So powerful. So powerful. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Talk, talk listen, my, my father, uh, uh, listen, share this broadcast. Get your seat in the ground. You still okay, Pastor Kevin? You oh, yeah. You're on fire. I don't want to stop you. I don't want to stop you. My God. Something's happening. So listen. I, I, I just apologize because you know we were supposed to. You don't apologize about anything. We're just receiving it. We're just I, I didn't even listen. I didn't, you can receive it, people. I I brought a message to teach. We didn't even get there, but that's well, okay. We'll that wasn't was what Holy Ghost had for us. That wasn't what Holy Ghost had for us. Yeah, <laughs> that's listen. Uh, uh, yeah, so talk up. Uh, you know what? I think my wife's on here. Why don't you preach? Why don't you speak over Miss Diana? Shall you? Amen. Hallelujah, so, Lord, so I Shabba. thank so, so, come on. you for Diana. Use a word right thank now. you, I thank you, I thank you, God, Jesus, incredible Jesus, Jesus. woman of God, Lord. I yeah. thank you that yeah. she has walked through a season uh, of, of healing, of restoration. But mm-hmm. Lord, I'm so excited because wow. Lord, what I see that you have before, I thank you, God, that you brought Greg and Diana together. I thank you that you you put them together by your hand and by your plan. And I thank you that it wasn't just to bless Greg or to help Greg, although it has been. Although it has been. I thank you that there's uniting and as the two have become one, Lord, it's a, it's a, 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 a powerful release of Diana's ministry. Lord, I thank you that the journey they have walked, it, it's for both Greg and for Diana has had difficult seasons. It hasn't been easy. There's had its challenges. It's had its roadblocks. But Lord, I thank you that you've orchestrated it for this time and for this season. And Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for what you have through Diana. And Lord, by faith, she wrote a book. Yeah, of right. obedience and faith, she wrote a book. But Lord, I thank you that now yeah. you're going to release her to a new level of ministry that she has not yet been opened. I thank you. And wow. Lord, that I thank you that she's not going to have to labor, that this is the anointing is going to flow wow. for her. Wow, wow, wow. She stands up to minister. I literally yeah. can see an audience right now and Diana ministering. And as yeah. she's ministering, I can literally see. Tears coming down people's face. I can wow. literally see people breaking, and I can literally Jesus, see the healing God. power of God release. And as you're speaking, the anointing of the Spirit is so strong. And Jesus. as you walk through these things, you now increase the anointing on your life. And literally, as you go now, you're going to go under a new anointing, a new thing, and it's going to bring through to others. My God, I thank you. I thank you, God, for what you're about to do. And, and oh, you spoke before, and things things were okay. They were good. And, and you got good reports. And that was awesome. But I tell you, I, what I see now is different from that. What I see oh, now that as you stand up and you declare, oh, I literally can literally see the whole Jesus. spirit descending on that, that room where you are. And I can oh. literally see people breaking and people freeing. And I can oh. literally, I literally see that you, after Jesus. you speak, that there's there's an outbreak and people start dancing and they start celebrating Jesus, Jesus, and, and, and they're praising God because of the fresh anointing of Hallelujah. God in your life and what's going to flow through you as you stand up to minister to others. My Hallelujah. God, I see it. 
Uh, Diane, it's it's absolutely powerful what God is about to do. So get ready. Don't have to worry about it. You don't have to wrestle about it. You don't have to win. Right. Under. That's good. You, you're yeah. just going to do what you know to do, and you're right. going to see when it's released. So you don't have, wow. to, you don't have to do anything. You're yeah. just going to do what you know to do. Yeah. You're going to take the opportunities as they come. You don't have to worry about it, but you watch. Then you're going to stand up, and you're going to watch this fresh anointing as God's going to break Jesus. it through. Get ready. Get ready. Jesus. Get ready to go. And what God says is get ready to go off script because the Holy Ghost is about to show up. Wow. Come on. Wow. Powerful, powerful, powerful. How about David? David's been asking for prayer most of the broadcast, so we're going to pull him up here. Amen. I want you to go to this site and sow that seed tonight. We're going to wrap up in about 10 minutes here, but uh, 12 minutes. So <laughs> get your seed in the ground, and we're going to just keep praying over people. Come on, David, go ahead. David. Yep. Amen. Lord, thank, thank you, Lord. you for David. Uh, Thank yeah. you. And Lord, here's his cry. Use me, God. Use me. Lord, I thank you. We, we, we don't have to wonder if that's the will of God. That is the will of God. Use me, Lord. And so, Lord, I think of that, that scripture says where, where the, he, the young man prays, the truth. Truth. anyone, use me. And Lord, I thank you for you to use David. I thank you, God, you're going to use him to in, in not only in his own abilities, you're going to go beyond his abilities. And what I see is that people that even know David, they're going to be like, what in the world? This guy, we know him. This is wow. this, this is so much beyond the, the David we know in the natural. But this is, this is the presence, the power of God. And that hunger that you have for God mm -hmm. is literally opening the door to a new level of the supernatural. Lord, I thank you for David. I thank you for his prayer. I thank you for desire. And Lord, I thank you that you're going to use him to a new place now. Lord, I thank you that you're going to use him everywhere he goes. I thank you, God, that that people are going to come in and they're going to see the presence of almighty God flowing through our brother. I thank you right now. And Lord, I just ask right now, Lord, that the fire of God would flow through David. Let your fire flow through him. Mm, Lord, yeah. as he speaks, let the fire of God come. Right. Lord, yes, not, let it, not just natural, but let it literally be the fire of God. Thank you, Lord, Lord. What comes to my mind as I'm praying for David now is, is uh, years ago in the Argentinian revivals, being yeah. in there and, and literally as the fire of God would come, people would be changed literally just by this, not even complex words, simple words. And whole yeah. auditoriums would fall in the presence of God. Sure. Lord, I sure, yeah. literally I pray that for David right now. Well, Lord, the fire of God under the simplicity well. of the simplicity of the spoken word. God, let your fire come, flow through his life, and let it fall on that auditorium, mm. auditorium wherever he would be, wherever he speak, whether it's one or whether it's a crowd. Mm. Let the fire of God be released, oh God, and may people fall under your power. Let them fall under your presence. Use David, I pray, for your glory. In your name we pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Pastor Dan and me, Ray Nurse. Amen. I'm sure the past for you. Yeah. Montreal, Quebec. Brussels, yes. Quebec. Yes, absolutely. My brother's in Montreal as well. Thank you. Amen, Dan. Lord, I thank you for, for Dan. I thank you, God, for his life. Lord, I thank you that He's in uh, the nation of, or in the province of Quebec. And Lord, that that province needs an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Jesus. They need your presence and your power, yes. Lord, desperately. And Lord, I thank you that in that nation, mm -hmm. you've always had a, a, a small core of people, a remnant of men and women of God who've been yeah. used of the Lord in that nation in that province. And God, I pray for Dan right now. Use him mightily. God, I thank you for everything you've done through his life. I thank you for the opportunities that you've given him. I thank you for how you've used him. But God, I pray now, use him in a new way. Use him in a new measure. And Lord, what's coming to my mind as I'm praying for Dan is is, is what's really in my heart is I'm the word uh, cross-cultural and multicultural. It's coming to me that God's going to use you oh, to touch yeah. Uh, Montreal is such a multicultural community, and God True. wants to increase your influence within wow. the multicultural community. I'm big Danny, come on. And He's going to use you in a greater way. Not that He hasn't used you, He's going to use you in a greater way to influence all aspects of that society. And, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you this and what God's saying is, is He uses you to reach and touch mm. other people, other nations. And, and, and other culture groups, he's going to use you. It's going to be an example 
to the province of Montreal of what happens uh, when the presence of God comes. It brings people together of a diversity of background and, wow, and, yeah. and what God is about to do through you. I can literally see it. And, and uh, Dan, I have a, I, God uses me in a multicultural way and, and for the nations. And he uses me yeah. mightily in that way. And here's yeah. the funny thing. I don't often pray that over people. But as I was praying with you, God just said that same type of passion wow. and anointing that you have is yeah. what Dan has and, and how God's used you. And, and okay. we have uh, uh, about 60 birth na- first and center, second generation birth nations in our congregation that yeah. God used us that way. I, I just wow. see that God is doing that in you, Dan, and he's going to expand that in you. And he's going to use you in a mighty way. And I'm, I'm telling you this, get ready. I, literally, I'm seeing the the Afghani's coming, the Iraqis come. I see the, all these people. Come on, all yeah. kinds awesome. of nations coming to you, and 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 you're just gonna love them. You're gonna embrace them, and you're gonna bring them Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost, and it's gonna unite them together, and it's gonna be powerful, and it's gonna be an example to your to your province, and it's gonna be an example to our nation that others are gonna catch. They're gonna see. They're going to see how God is using you cross-culturally, and it's powerful. It's, and literally what's going to happen is they're going to start talking to you, and, and they're going to ask you, how, how are you doing this? What are you doing uh, that you're the expert in this? But, right. but really, it's the presence and the power of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, so good. So good. Well, what we're going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, get you to pray for CJ. She'll be the last one today. She's from America, and uh, if you can remember her in prayer. And what state? Um, I can't. I can't even remember to be honest. Maybe you can put that up there, CJ, please, if you would. I, you. I get so many countries and everything in my head. It's just hard. That's to okay. Say. Oklahoma. I'm going to Oklahoma tomorrow, CJ. I'm coming to Tulsa, so I'll That's be ministering great. there in the weekend. I, I, I love the state of Oklahoma. It's a great yeah. faith state. It yeah. is a great faith state. God's done so many incredible things. You know in that state and yeah. uh i'll tell you this it's a state filled with faith and mm-hmm. uh cj uh you know you are a person of faith and mm-hmm. i'll tell you this uh, you, you have this legacy and god's literally saying the things that i've done in that name in that state you know i've accomplished in your lives in your life but let me tell you this it's not just for your life and it's not just for your state Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord. You're going to rise up, CJ, as this incredible woman of faith. You're going to use her mightily. Hallelujah. God, others are going to look to her as an example of faith. And and we talked earlier in this broadcast about how you have to get people around you that are full of faith. They're going to look Mm. at CJ as that person. She's the one full of faith. She's the example of faith. Lord, I pray for her right now. And I pray for the gift of faith, that gift of faith that goes beyond. She has the fruit of faith. And it's growing and it's big. But Lord, I pray now the supernatural gift of faith that it would be released in her to such a measure, Lord, that people will just be like, she's crazy. She she believes God for anything. And what she believes for, Lord, I thank you. And I thank you you're going to do that through CJ's life. I thank you that people are going to come to her because they're going to go, with CJ praise by faith, things happen. When CJ believes by faith, Things turn around. And I thank you right now, God, you're releasing it into a new place. And not just the free faith, but this is the gift of faith that's coming to her. And, a, and she's going to function in this gift daily. I literally see that you're going to function in the gift of faith daily. And, yeah. and literally, as you function in this, lives are going to be transformed by his power. Thank you for CJ. Thank mm-hmm. you for what you're going to do. And we pray for her now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Kevin, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to just give a closing word here and just uh, encourage the people as you've been doing, and just just let us hear a couple minutes, just closing statement from. Oh uh, yeah, just before I do that, before I <coughs> this is what I'd like us to do. Everybody that's on this broadcast right now, just stay, hang with me for one more minute. And I know I'm slowing down a little bit because I've been tired and I've been in. No, a, you've been doing amazing. I've That's been in a few started. different countries, so I may yeah. not be on my best game tonight. And I apologize. You're amazing. That. Uh, awesome. But let me say this: just stay with me for another minute, because here's what I really feel like we need to do. I feel like for wherever we are in the world right now, we need to pray uh, for Bishop Greg Gill and 
his incredible wife, Diana Gill. We need to, we need to agree together for them. And, and I'll tell you this, it's been a new season. He's stepping out of new things. He's seen God do. But I'll tell you this, even as he's organized these things to build us up, I, I want to build him up. And so I want us to pray. I want you to, for both uh, Greg and for Diana. And as we pray, I want, I want you to fill the comments, fill it with faith, fill it with declarations of blessing. You can declare over their life, over their family, over their health over their finances, over their future, over the ministry, over the vision. I want you to prophetically release over them right now. Lord, I pray for everybody in this broadcast. Now, let that prophetic spirit, the Bible says you stir up the gift of God that's in you. So stir it up right now. Everybody's listening to me. Stir up the gift of God that's in you. And as you stir it up, now I want you to begin to release the prophetic over, over Greg and Diana right now. Release it over them. Oh, you, you, you don't have to release it. You can just say a word. You can say 10 words. You can write a sentence, whatever you want. Release it. Just it what God is putting in your spirit right now. Release it over them. So now, Lord, I come in agreement with every prophetic word that's being released right now over Bishop Jesus, Greg Hill and Jesus, Diane Hill. Lord, I come into agreement with every word right now. Lord, I thank you for them. Lord, I thank you for the anointing on their life. I thank you that Bishop is a connector of people. That's an anointing you put on his life. I thank you, God, that, that, that you've called him as a leader. You've called him as one that's hungry for you, that's, that's sensitive to the Holy Spirit, that desires you. And, Lord, I pray that that leadership anointing that's, that's on uh, Heather, uh, that's on Greg and on Diana, Lord, I thank you for it. And I pray, God, that you would release uh, such an increase. God, I pray their influence would expand. Lord, I call forth right now, not, not hundreds in the network, but I call thousands, Jesus. thousands of people to be influenced in the Holy Ghost, thousands Jesus. of people to be Ghost. encouraged, thousands of people to be built up, thousands mm -hmm. of people, oh God, to come under this uh, fellowship this under this relationship Jesus, God Jesus. to be empowered in what you've called them to do Lord mm -hmm. so I thank you for them I thank you that Greg is functioning in the anointing and so God for Greg and for Diana right now I pray for your supernatural prosperity Lord yes, God. Lord I pray for prosperity beyond mm -hmm. what they've ever known or what they've ever experienced Lord I pray for them right now in the thank mighty Jesus. name of Jesus thank Lord God. I pray that you would cause finances to come and literally lord i see it coming from the right and the left from front from behind literally coming from all directions lord i pray rain down financial prosperity and provision upon their life lord i thank you because we see that your servants in the word of god we see your their blessing on their lives we see how job was blessed and how he walked under we see Joseph, how he was blessed and how he walked in the provision of God. And we declare over Greg and over Diana right now, the blessing of favor of God, let it come on their finances. I thank you, God, that they'll walk in divine health right now. Mm -hmm. I declare no sickness, no disease. Thank you, Jesus. I don't pray they'll be healed. I thank Hallelujah. you for healings, but I pray thank for you, divine health. I pray yes. they'll walk in divine health, that sickness and disease will not come on them. But yeah. it will literally yeah. come like water, and I see like water flowing off a duck's back. I see right. sickness and disease flowing off of Greg and Diana, yeah. flowing off their back. Sickness and disease yeah. will not yeah. stop, yeah. will not yeah. hinder them, will not slow them down, but they will walk in divine yeah. health in Jesus' name. Thank, thank you, Lord. Yeah. And I thank you right now, not only yeah. for prosperity, I thank you for health. I thank you, God, for the things you have in store for them in this ministry. Lord, we pray for them, and we pray for their marriage. Lord, continue to bond them together. Continue to Bring them together as a couple. Lord, continue to bring them great joy, great happiness, great fulfillment. May their marriage bring them greater joy, happiness, and fulfillment than they've ever experienced in this Hallelujah. place you, in their life so far. So, Lord, bless their marriage. I declare, Lord, that their marriage will be strong. It will be an example to others. Others will say, you know what? They, you know, they say second marriages don't work, but I'm here to tell you that devil's a liar. And you, I, I thank, thank you, you that, that, that Bishop and Dan, I thank you that their thank marriage will be an example to others. Thank they will say, I want a marriage like they have. Their marriage is alive. Their marriage is fresh. Their marriage is strong. I thank you that they're going to be an example to others. 
And Lord, I pray now your blessing. And so we'll come into agreement now for every prophetic word that's been yes. prayed, prayed yes. right now. We agree yes. with it all across the nations of the world. We Thank you, Lord. Agree. And now I want you to declare this after me. Everybody yes. declare this after me. Whether they can hear it or not, I want you to declare. Yes. I want you to release it. Our words have the power of life and death. Our right. words have the power to bless and curse. Wherever you are, I want you to declare these words out loud right now. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Bless Bishop. Bless, bless Bishop. Bishop and Heather and, and Bishop and Diana right now. Thank you, Lord. Lord, cause your prosperity to be upon them. Yes, Lord. Cause your health to be upon them. Mm -hmm. Cause your strength to be upon them. Mm -hmm. Cause their influence to grow. Jesus. Cause it to expand. Thank you, Lord. And cause your prosperity to rain down from heaven mm. in every part of their life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Greg, I just love you Amen. and Diana, and I believe Amen. in you Thank guys. You. And I, 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 so I just thank God for you and for what you're doing. And I thank God for this season he's got you in. And I really see, Greg, that uh, that uh, you and Diana are fulfilling your purposes. And I'll tell you this: there's there's great days to come. I really just see it. Amen. Well, thank you so much for being with us and giving of your time because we know you're a busy man. Ah. And uh, thank you to thank you to Pam and you and and uh, all your investment in our lives. My wife's uh, out preaching tonight on, oh, on she, yeah. revival. She's preaching yeah. on revival tonight. And so yeah. uh, we were hoping that we could work her time out. But with the earlier time, she, she wasn't able to rearrange yeah. that message. Well, it's okay. We'll have another time. We'll be able to get you on. And um, one of the powerful things is, is that, is that there's my wife just giving the shout out there. Um, Love the thing you, is, is that, is that Pastor Kevin knew my wife and I before we were husband and wife even. But yes, he knew us separately about twenty years before we even and, married. And and Diana had she was married to Di Diana was married to like a man of God, and so yeah, she, you were, you she were knew the anointing. Her. So she was yeah. like, when she when her husband passed away, she's like, no way, I got to get another man of God, and I know what the anointing. <laughs> is. And and uh, she she had a very wise move, and she said, I'm going to attach to a man who's Ooh. anointed. And very, I very thankful. wise. I was thankful. I'll tell you that. Glory be to yeah. God. So we've been married. We've been married seven years now, and so yeah. glory be to God. So thank you so much for being with. I'm just going to put you in the back room, and I'll be with you in a moment. No problem. Thank you. Well, there it is, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. And uh, powerful, powerful, powerful. I want you to go to this website, sow your seed. Thank you for joining in. No matter where you are in the world, get that seed in the ground. This, the money that comes in tonight going towards Apostle Kevin Begley and his ministry. And so we want to thank God for his life and for his wife, Pam, and just dear people of the Lord that God's used powerfully for many, many years. And so thank you for tuning in. Like I said, this is our first one back. We'll be back on Sunday afternoon. Uh, CJ, you're asking me where I'll be speaking. I'll be speaking at the River Tulsa starting Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock. The River Tulsa. It's in Chapel on the Hill building. And uh, I'll be speaking there Sunday afternoon at 2. And then I'll be speaking Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock each night. And it'll be a great time of revival and refreshing for people. So if you're in the Oklahoma area and you can come, please join us and it'll be powerful. And so I just want to uh, thank you again. Could you please put in the comments, could you just thank Pastor Kevin for being on with us today and just speak a word of encouragement over him. That's what we usually try to do. And so if you could just speak a word in the comments column and just thank him for his ministry today. And we'll get these guys back again. It was powerful. You know, I, I told them we'll, we'll have a plan, but we go with the Holy Ghost. We, we call it spontaneity within the structure. I mean, we have a plan, but if Holy Ghost breaks loose like he did today, then we go with the flow. And so thank you. I'm going to ask you, so once again, myeim.org. And uh, just put some comments in there. Thank Pastor Kevin for his ministry. Yes, thank you, CJ. Just if everybody could just comment there and thank him. And we bless you and we're so thankful for their lives today. So thank you for joining in with us. And it's going to be great. We're going to meet Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. Mountain Time. And uh, we're going we're gonna to go to 4 o'clock now on the uh, 
it uh, it actually be eight o'clock probably on Sunday night because I'm preaching at four o'clock, I believe. And so we'll be uh, going to four o'clock on Wednesdays and and Sunday afternoons on four p.m. Mountain Mountain Standard Time. And so please get ready to join us for that shift. And we're so glad that you tuned in today and we're part of this broadcast. So we're signing out for now and we're just speaking over you that God would continue to ignite your destiny by the power of the Spirit. Be blessed. <laughs>